Now, with that said, let me make my endeavor back to the legendary rank. I'm going to be using the Lance Fleet again. If I double check cor correctly, I should have all my points spent. And the other thing I'm curious about is my main, like, my classic fleet with the Exorcist. Is that up to par? It looks like it anyway. We upgrade everything to Falchions. So everything's accounted for the new patch, or at least the reduction to the points, so we'll see how this fares. Then I'll play a little bit of Space Marines, since it's been forever since I actually played Space Marines, mind you. So, I don't know what to honestly expect. I kind of would like to get away with Vanguards again, but with only two charges to torpedoes and that basically being their only means of doing damage, let's never mind. Yeah, let's not forget about the dang boarding itself also has two charges, so Vanguards are probably suffering a little bit there. Unless I want to rely on the Bombardment Cannon, which may not be silly, it just wouldn't be very impactful compared to my Shroud Fleet. I'm afraid to say... This is only a single bombardment can that does 30 damage, as opposed to 5, ooh, let's see, Necrons. I have Torpedoes, Lances will be decent, and Ramming Prows can do a good amount of damage if I use it properly. And I have an Apocalypse for Nova Cans too. It's a question if I can utilize it properly, since now I have 4 charges to my Nova Cans, which is an interesting and welcome buff a little bit to the Apocalypse. Don't know how I feel about it for every other fleet that tries to use Nova Cans, but then again it's only the battleships, mind you. The cruisers, the five cruisers that Mechanicus like the field didn't get any increase. As far as how many shots they can do. I'm just gonna have to be careful, I only have two frigates, but since they're not very good at grabbing points, that's not a big deal either, I wanna argue. So this could go well. I basically have a built-in plasma bomb on top, if on the prow of my ship, as well as having an additional plasma bomb, which can double that impact quite a bit. Hmm, I'm just wondering how likely will I need a stasis bomb. If there's any tomb ships or cruisers, that should not be a big concern, I want to argue. What do I do with my frigates, though, with that said? One frigate over here probably, and then one to potentially spot for a light cruiser. Start sniping it down. This could be a really simple match considering what we're dealing with here. Don't know how effective the lances are going to be, mind you. But this should be promising nonetheless. And I want to say three battle cruisers, maybe a grand cruiser scourge. In which case that would be a little bit awkward for me since I have no fighters. I maybe relegate to point defense if there actually is a scourge for me to worry about. We serve. I do have torpedoes as well, which are great to distract them. Especially since my melted torpedoes are completely useless, so I got fodder torpedoes for that role. Ship ready. But we'll take our time, we'll play by ear and see if we can spot them. Underway. And then start soft them up or at least force a preemptive uh was it inertialess drive potentially? Ideally, I would want to wait until they actually jump before firing it. Lock and I forgot to lock on with you too, didn't I? We wait your command. Well, it seems like they're separate fleets, so I'm assuming these are cruisers, battle cruisers, and this probably is a tomb ship. Then maybe the, enemy has the speed difference would suggest area. it's um. I want to say at least. I seriously doubt I'm going to get this objective really quickly. But it should be relatively Engaging safe engines. if I can put pressure on them. We serve. I just got to reveal these ships. You have seized a strategic area. Ideally. Coordinates acknowledged. And get ready to make a move for this objective too, perhaps. Since Your it's orders. what we're going to be fighting over. And hell, this falchion can hide behind here and be completely Trench safe from course. a lot of the macro fire. Even a lance fire, mind you. Your orders? So this is a good spot Enemy to just sighted. prompt. Okay, Dirch. Nope. Understood. They're jackals. So Underway. what does that tell me? Setting course. We got some good damage in there, but sadly I'm not quite in range Your to orders? support, am I? 
The enemy has seized now I'm about 9,000 years area. away. Heading this could survive for a while, and I still have more torpedoes, but... Ship ready. That's all but dead. Alas. Retros. And I won... Again, I don't know what kind of read I can get from this either. Changing course. As far as what their fleet is. But it's doing good damage. I just wish Which I had sir? some lances to back it up. In all seriousness. We wait your command. Okay, you just Setting marked course. me. I would love it if somehow I could kill this one frigate. Underway. Unlikely, but I would love to, to try. Heavy damage. It is damn close, my dude. Understood. If only I had more torpedoes. Well, that was some good, like, half its health there in a hurry. I may be revealed. But I can at least keep this hit in some. Just keep out of the macro can range. Nope, I'm hitting the wrong key. Ready. I want to wait until they jump, and then we I can plasma bomb. You have seized a strategic Since area. I'm doing a lot of damage here, I should fire Engaging torpedoes, but again, engines. they all have starburst generators too, or star pulse waves. Setting course. Is there a way I can deal with this? Melt I have melted torpedoes. We serve. Although, you had to destroy my torpedoes in an awkward time. Bit of an awkward setup, but I'll take it. Your orders? The enemy has seized a strategic area. Good, really, really good starting damage on that cruiser. And you have dispersed lightning arc, which can do notable damage. Underway. Acquiring new vector. Engaging engines. There, let's. Do this again, one more time for good measure. Now, can I fire Nova Can? Actually, I could fire Plasma Bomb to finish it off. Thanks for pushing me out of the Plasma Bomb, mind you. That's, you're a true pal. Got to still seal the deal, which means I gotta focus fire the hell out of this thing. This now is kind of my priority. And it burnt its star pulse generator, so this is the perfect opportunity to murder the hell out of this thing. Just gotta keep an eye on stats of everything with that said. Eight seconds on you, you cannot repair, sadly. Plasma bomb's gonna hurt like hell. I'm sorry, fella. We serve. This is looking like not your match to win. Especially with this plasma bomb. Ah, dang it, I was just out of range for the morale. It's gonna still burn to death, mind you, but... That is that ship gone? What, is that a battle cruiser? I never... Yeah, it is a regular cruiser. I kind of figured as much, I just wasn't positive. That was simple, as I said. I have lances to kind of get the perfect accuracy as well, but still. It's a slow and steady type of route. And due to only having a single frigate, it's kind of tricky to brute force some detection and aggression. I could spot them, but then there's that 45 second downtime if my opponent decides to stay in that gas cloud. It's the one thing I really dislike about having only two frigates unless I want to forfeit. A lot of the side objectives, like what happened there, losing my falchion. But to victory, we're back to legendary. I like how this feels, mind you. I'm not getting a lot of Novacan shots, mind you, since it's really tricky to do. Unless I fire one before my micro warp jump, then I can possibly get two really early on. So maybe I should get a little more aggressive, especially with four charges for crying out loud this Novacan. Mind you, that was kind of the best case situation for me. 
My Apocalypse had amazing value with the Nova Cans if I use more of those charges, and the Plasma Bomb is amazing too with that aggressive jump. But let's jump into my regular fleet. It's been forever since I actually used it, mind you, so I'm gonna have to remember a little bit on how I utilized it. Especially again, with the capture mechanic changes, I can't quite backdoor very well with the Dauntless and Falchions anymore. So I don't know if I even want to go that route, if I were to be honest. Now I worry the servers went down entirely. This is not going to make for a very interesting stream, is it now? So, I will just talk about what I have in mind for potentially the future videos and future content for Armada 2 that I'm going to be doing. I already talked about what I was going to do after the 12 faction guides. I was going to work on individual fleets. Maybe focus on two at a time. Since I would like to try and make them a lot shorter, which maybe will allow me to do two different fleets. At, at a time, is what I'm saying. It's still a lot of theory crafting, mind you, since I don't know realistically how much time I'm going to need. Since it ultimately, ultimately comes down to... If I can fight against all the factions or not. That's going to be a real story. At least face off against each of the the empires. Like at least face off against one of the Corsairs or Ashuriani. To at least get a good feel for the Hall of Field for say my Lance Fleet is a perfect example. I wouldn't necessarily have to fight both of them. Since it's kind of the same concept the only difference of course is the torpedoes of the Ashuriani. So it, it requires a lot of thought process, especially for s certain fleets, to be aware of what they're weak against. Otherwise, again, these ships are not going to be very good at backdooring anymore. Since my battleship can single-handedly capture all the objectives if I focus its role for that purpose. And I kind of want the battleship to tank a lot of these shots since there's, it's so much more resilient. And also, I gotta remember my skills. Stasis Bomb, if I can ever get lucky with a good hit there. Short Burn and... I would like Armor Piercing Ammo, but am I realistically gonna get that close? I wonder which of these would be better though, Armor or the Regeneration on the Shields? Is this a... I sort of expect... Oh, I want Morale, come to think of it. That might be good here. But I need the hits to follow up with it. Alright, are we set? I think we're set. Let's see how this goes. Engaging engines. And I do have the Dauntless and Lisa Brute Force. Hmm. Slaughter Fleet, maybe. I can at least launch the Exorcists and then recall the fighters if necessary. So that's something I should take full advantage of, since even then I have enough fighters to kind of shoot down any stray carrier ships they have, unless it's like something that is a dedicated fighter ship or carrier ship. Aye, Admiral. That would be the exception, in which case again I could just recall it now, so I have a lot of convenience here. So we do have what looks like a Stig. I'm going to assume it's a Stig. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. So they grabbed that point already. Underway. I'm pushing through the middle. And I would like the Dauntless to contribute. Coordinates so maybe I can have the Falchion just go over on the right. It's strong enough to deal with any uh, Infidel or Raiders. So long as I'm mindful of their torpedoes, mind you. Since I think... No, they don't... Qu oh, you're doing reload. Interesting. Your oh, orders? bombers? Wait a minute, how did you get vision of me to do bombers? What was revealed? I, Admiral. How the hell was re How the hell was Enemy I revealed sighted. for bombers? I seriously want to know this. That I was not expecting. Since normally you have to see the target or have it revealed to actually be able to we use saw. bombers. So I'm completely Shutting caught off guard by that. I don't know what to say anymore, your command. but more bombers coming. I'm going to fire some melted torpedoes since I got plenty of spare. 
And also, let's see. Oh, these are murders. Okay, so macro based or prowl lances. They are melted torpedoes, so expect it to get canceled out quickly. Aye, Admiral. But that's Understood. a good opportunity to punish them, maybe. We serve. Yeah, again, where the Changing how the hell is the bomber spawning me? I want to know. Ship ready. I'm really curious about this. You have seized a strategic area. And the bombers thankfully did not do any damage, so I'm good in that regard. Your orders? Course engaged. Ship ready. Now let's ram these, although I didn't think I wanted a brace for impact, but I'll take it. Your orders? Now let's reload. Murder hell at this and ideally bored. Especially what especially a ship we're not even focused on. Execute high energy turn. And you have spurs, right? Yep, so you can help contribute. I just didn't do a good job paying attention very well. Let alone use my uh my spurs to my best of my ability. Oh, you have a grand cruiser too. All right, let's try for, let's try and murder this one ship off. We have bombers for that. Get these turned around. And fire a crap ton of torpedoes up this ass. There. We've got a good ramp there for good measure. Can we seal the deal? I just need to clear this dang murder. Nope, I was too close. I thought maybe I was clear. Its engines uh, ended up taking the torpedo hits. But at least the Dauntless can get a kill. Hell, I thought the Ramming would get the kill. Apparently not. I am on all sorts of fire. But the Retribution is in good shape still. And I didn't see any armor piercing ammo. And sadly, now I regret not having the armor piercing ammo. I wasn't expecting such a close range engagement, to be honest. But, the torpedoes are all I really need it, if utilized properly. And they were pretty damn good. Now let's melt this thing. Let's see how much fire damage we can do. Yep, morale's about to break, alas. It's still functional. Still functional, they're disengaging, we won this. Pretty damn simple. Well, that's game. I think it's safe to say that was more of a newer player to unleash chaos, perhaps? At least upgrades kind of suggested that. I just don't know what the thought process was, since after all, no close range upgrades. Okay, about halfway there, and of course this is always misleading. I don't know why it always shows either my rank or their rank, based on the match. Now, I think it only shows it for if you're the winner. If I was somehow the loser, I think maybe it shows me their rank on both of us. So there's still some working out that needs to be done. And yeah, long range centric, so probably could have tried cutting me a little bit more. I would argue. Nonetheless, not quite the match I would have liked to have dived into for my good old fashioned uh, retribution, but I'll take it. Let's jump into the Space Marines. Mind you, mine's is not going to be very original since it's been forever since I actually played them, and strike cruisers are not all that appealing, I don't think, with only two charges to the torpedoes, which. Honestly, I would like. Hell, the torpedoes apparently are the most expensive with only two charges. I don't know how I feel about that, alas. Let's see, bombardment can, yeah. Don't know how enticing this is either. It's With my time with the shrouds, this is probably not as significant, as at least as doing damage. And the launch bay is no different than the doom sites, so let's be, as far as comparison's sake. Although I do get boarding, 
Just a question. I am going to have to just play some more Space Marine matches to get a feel for it. Then I'll worry about trying to include the Vanguards again. Otherwise, I do need to seriously have a look and see how useful the armor piercing ammo is going to be with so many bombardment cannons. It's really it's only the battle barges, macro cannons that are actually going to benefit from that. So I'm going to have to look a little bit. Nonetheless, I like the assassin. It helps with killing off the crew somewhere, at least taking advantage of that. And I don't know if I like this, but with four charges selecting strikes now, it has potential. Maybe extended range. I'm definitely going to have to sink on it since it's like I said, it's been a while. But we do get a match though. Only problem I'm going to have is, well, I will have at least the battle barge for the fighters. There's at least that. It can at least distract the point defense long enough if I do it right. Drukari is going to be a bit of, bit of a pain though. Just a little bit. Again, it comes down to what they're using. If it's like the Impaler fleet, my battle barge should be able to deal with those really, really well just because of my Sunderhawks. Should be able to do really well. But this would actually be my first match with Ju against Jukaria Space Marines, so... I don't know how well this is going to go, at least I don't have to deal with the Hollow Field. But these objectives are really damn spread out, good god. I'm not liking this prospect one bit. Assassin would be great for morale, because they have to get within 9,000 range for their weaponry at least. Then the weapon range could be good, but only if I can reveal them ahead of time. Since I'm likely going to be locking on too. That will potentially give me 18,000 bombardment can range. Which is no joke. This is, again, this is like my first time face off against Shukari with Space Marine, so I don't know how I'm actually strong in this matchup. Outside the morale damage, I could do with just the lightning strike of the capital ship. And I can get fission on one of them. Is that what I want, though? We'll see. Engines engaged. And actually... Enemy in ah, I had to reveal a frigate. That's a shame. So these are the three battleships here, then. We stand ready. I was thinking maybe they were the battleships because they were slower, but I, am listening. I think we know what we're up against at least, so I got that going for me. Moving to position. Now Shots I just gotta be good about revealing them. I have the 83 armor all around, so the their, ma their main weaponry is not gonna be most appealing, and they have something. Okay, they have something in the gas cloud too, you so that's six ships. Area. Repositioning. All I can really say there, I am going to listen for Wraith Bone shifts, so. So we got something going over there. The enemy has seized a strategic area. I have no beacon, I do have fighters, but I think I want to keep that for where potential assault modules. To where we are needed. Halt, advance. And ideally, keep these frigates completely safe until they actually make the first move. This will be a little bit annoying though, just due to this, how spread out the objectives are. Not going to be very convenient for me actually playing the turtle game. So we got a frigate over there. Yeah, this is just a bad layout for me. I should go aggressive though. Give us purpose. To turn these around, we'll get the strike cruisers moving. Actually, I could just boost with everything. Although my strike cruisers are in a bad spot because it's debris in the way. Show us the enemy. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Where should we strike? 
Well, they're torpedoes. I got that going for me some. We stand ready. At your command. Show us the enemy. The enemy has Okay, I don't see torpedoes area. that may have already boarded. Moving to position. Just murder the hell out of these things and watch, ideally, for torpedoes. For where we are needed. I am listening. And I should reload. Repositioning. Where shall we strike? Uh, engines had to get destroyed a very bad time there, so that's a shame. A area. That was really inconvenient to lose the engines there. Underway. I'm trying to figure. Oh, did I? Oh, I thought I had it moved up all this point. I have the objective. I have two objectives so far, and I could deal with this frigate really well. Just a question if my opponent knows how to dodge. Engines engaged. Nope, that answers that question. And my fighters were also on that one, so they didn't do the damage necessary for the torpedoes. I can at least grab a third point. You're currently stealth. And I heard something hit. I don't know what happened. Oh, it was probably a ram. Where should we strike? I wonder if my I wonder if my bombers can get there in time. Probably not, but I'm curious of the attempt. We stand ready. It's apparently there is mutinies all over the place too. Give us purpose. You'll have your engines back up in a moment. Show us the enemy. You could salt run again. For where we are needed. Okay. Give us purpose. The crew is really Moving close to, to being damaged, actually. Let's kill off the crew entirely. I am listening. Full speed. Can I dodge? Not a lot of them. But the crew should be dead on this pretty soon. Boarding successful. We stand ready. At your command. Boarding course critical damage. Did I burn all the combustion gauge? Yeah, all the combustion gauge is gone. Let's see if we can kill off these crews some at least. Because the battle barge likely is gonna die. I was wondering what happened there. Apparently my ship died. Is the answer there. And we did get boarding. And the called arms pretty useful in this regard. I thought I told you to boost. I tried doing a high energy turn there and apparently did not do it. But at least their abilities are locked now. I just sadly can't do what's needed just yet. Ah, dang it. Repositioning. They just conveniently had to have torpedoes. Lances and everything else I probably could have done well against. Or even the impaler ships. But not uh, torpedoes, alas. And most of those didn't even hit me very well, thankfully. Yeah, I'm not going to do the crew damage necessary, alas. And I feel like I could have dodged some of those. I wonder why I didn't get the high energy turns when I tried to do it. But this is pretty much over, alas. And I didn't prioritize the engines very well either, I think. Which probably would have caused... Well, it looks like they're... 
crippled all over the place, which doesn't help me much. If I could kill the engines early, though, that helps with me being able to stay on top of one of them. I'm just wondering the value of the Emperor's Tarok, because it is a bit of a gamble trying to reveal one of those ships early on. Beacon don't help me too much either, and Stasis Bomb, they should be able to easily avoid me. They should be able to. Uh, well, it's been a while there. I'm going to give it another shot. Just didn't quite do the boring damage, and if I can make all the ships use the cold arms, that means they, it freezes the cooldown of their torpedoes, if I can do that early on. Which actually is a benefit to me. Since they can't burst me down like what happened there. Okay, Imperial Navy. This will be at least a, a good generic test to see how this works out. Ideally, though, I don't want to go too ridiculous boarding one single ship with the boring torpedoes. Since I want to maximize the troop damage, especially at longer range. But with the strike cruisers, I may be able to make use of a stasis bomb. Since I don't need Emperor's Taroth for this, and I don't have much other utilities. Not the best kind of utilities, anyway. I'm again wondering... If this is worth getting our piercing ammo, since it's really going to be strictly for the battle barge. Assault cooldowns reduced. I'm just wondering, does that include honor the chapter if I use it? No, oh, no, it would be this tab here. Never mind. Don't know if 10% is worth it. I'm just wondering what else would be good. It is Imperial Navy, so. Maybe I want supercharged void shield. If I want the battle barge to tank the shots. I'm going to be open minded about the outcome. Although that was probably the worst case situation. Since I wasn't expecting torpedoes against the Drukari. And even then my strike cruiser should be able to avoid those really well too. If I just turn my do my high energy turn properly. And the layout worked against me too. Just because of how spread out all the objectives were, I couldn't just grab three points and just let them make the first move. I kind of need to keep moving and not entrench myself, as it were. So, am I comfortable with this? I think the armor piercing ammo will be used more useful than the extent range, honestly. For where we are needed. If I were to be so honest. And we're going to use the strike cruiser as a push forward. And I do have my warp jump still, do Give I, on here? Purpose. Yes, I do. Although I'm not planning on actually engaging. I just want to put pressure by grabbing the middle of the map quickly with these strike cruisers. Since it seemed to work so well when I Moving used it early. Position. Especially if, they will reel, if they'll reveal I themselves for me too, that'd be pretty good. If anything, my... I... I gotta see if, why those bombers on that chaos match were able to come after me. Maybe I can target them now with even just the blips here. Don't know if I like that idea or not, but... Show us the enemy. I just don't know. Hmm. It's good for early aggression, I suppose, especially with fighters early on to distract the point defense. You have seized a especially now that area. I can recall everything rather than having kamikaze fighters. Underway. Which would be pretty good. We'll have to experiment with that. We Otherwise, what are we expecting? Looks like kind of four cruisers and maybe a battleship in the strike? middle. Since normally Imperial Navy are able to equip... What is it? Uh, the enemy six cruisers, if not area. seven now these days. I've seen like seven tyrants and seven lunars. Or at least it's possible to have seven tyrants anyway. You have seized a strategic area. Alright, by all means, fire the beacon over there. See if I care. Alright, so are these just tyrants? Yeah, they're tyrants. I kind of want to just destroy the weapons, mind you. Since that's what I'm going to be weak against, mostly. We stand ready. And I'll launch boring torpedoes when, the when I'm able to use on. my fighters again. I could take stray lance fire really well otherwise. 
It's just a question of how well, how, how as good is my opponent able to dodge them? And did I accidentally rotate the camera without my realizing? Show us the enemy. We got torpedoes coming there. I can easily rotate the strike cruisers. Oh, they all got shot down. Give us purpose. Launch fighters and launch boring torpedoes. Show us the enemy. Hopefully I timed this properly. Because I think my yeah. I, I think my fighters will at least distract some of the point course. defense. Not all of it though. We stand ready. Yeah, you're gonna turn your prow, but at least they're gonna track. Where shall we strike? The enemy has seized a strategic area. Generator down, don't care about that too much if I can get behind the rest of my fleet. Yeah, actually, I do want to kill weapons. I did have a prioritize. I do need to focus on the ships I want. There's a cold arms. Again, I did want to sprout the boring damage some to kind of prevent that, at least to maximize my boring damage. That I'm willing to repair over. All right, I can dodge these easily enough. Give us purpose. Underway. And weapons Tell are getting critically enemy. hit there too. Halt, advance. We stand ready. Can't your command. Give us purpose. Oh, two of my generators are actually down. That's why I couldn't do my dang lightning strikes like I want. A little inconvenient there. If only slightly. But, I can board. And you didn't quite get your ramp, but I didn't check your upgrades either. Just faster recharge on shields. Interesting. Triple the engines, ideally do, do some actual proper torpedo shots. Where shall we strike? And I have the armor take these re really well. I just gotta make sure I'm focusing what I need to. Set yourself to reload. I how many torpedoes did I hit with that? I wasn't paying attention due to the wide ready. shot. At your you are dead. That's one down. You okay, we're good here. Show That's going to take enemy. a lot of boring damage, but I need to preserve my ships, my strike position. cruisers at least. Oh, enemy. wreckage! Wreckage! All those torpedoes basically got soaked because of the wreckage. So that was pretty convenient for me. And now the crew is pretty damn weak. So any mutinies is going to be amazing. But that might just lose this crew if I do honor the chapter on it. I don't get the repairs, mind you, but I think it's worthwhile for a drifting hulk. Nope, oh, the point defense are going to deal with those where nicely. Now, where is the battleship with that said? Oh, just limping. With all its broadside weaponry is practically gone. Ah, uh, I didn't realize that. My shields were not regenerating. I just panicked, assuming that they were. Can I fire torpedoes on this thing and murder it? There, those are good hits, although I didn't need on honor the chapter, apparently, for that. And that's five boarding cricklets, oh god. Get that out of there quick. Okay, we're looking good. Mutiny, unless you have rally, that thing is out of the fight. 
Okay, take that back. I overdid it on the boarding. Just a wee little bit. We stand ready. And maybe I could kill off the last crew on this dang retribution. Can I get the... I nope, I bombed it, but it wasn't enough troop damage. I didn't want to commit to the actual boarding because it was... It was simply put a little bit overkill just for one troop. Okay, there we go. The fire assaults did their thing. Get me out of this stasis bomb already, you cursed thing. I want to live. Actually, I am going to live. I completely forgot about my trump card. My ace in the hole there. Which, was, which wasn't really neat. Now what's left? Just frigates. Oh. Oh, they're both Drifting Hulks, although why does it not say you're a Drifting Hulk? Are you lying to me? Are you lying to my face even though I clearly see? Well, I can't board you. That's all I know. Alright, let's just finish them off then. They're not going to fight back. And I see the frigates. Actually, I have boring torpedoes to kind of launch on them. Engines engaged. Show us the enemy. So if I'm lucky, those boring torpedoes are going to hit, but since it's the only Underway. ship for my opponent to focus on, they should be able to dodge them easily enough. Since I think those six boring torpedoes will be... Ah, uh, never mind. They conveniently concealed themselves before the actual objective. Full speed. That is a good victory nonetheless. I'm pretty happy with that. Where shall we strike? Just gotta wait for it to actually be a victory, though. So we'll need to give it a few moments still. Oh, all my boring torpedoes did not make it past the first thousand units. They just had to hit a bunch of spare debris. Oh, well, that's fine. I got more boring torpedoes, but this is a little bit excessive for just a single frigate. Especially a frigate that does not have cold arms, mind you. Give us purpose. So one salvo would have been really all I needed to stop it. Well, let's see. Do you know how to dodge torpedoes? Will you put the effort into it? The viewers are waiting anxiously. While well, you're turning, so you should be fine. Yep, you know what you're doing. I'm proud of them. But now you have to actually get the objective, which you're not going to get to do. Run. Flee. Because now the boring torpedoes are coming back after you. Hold course. Halt, advance. Boarding caused critical damage. Oh, I was completely wrong. What is it Where I'm thinking of? Oh, they don't have encouraging speech. That's what I was thinking of. Never mind. I got I the two listening. abilities mixed up. But it slows them down. I'm perfectly fine with that. I just got to board Boarding the cursed thing successful. now. I just enemy. gotta stop burning all my combustion gauge first for that to matter. I am listening. Oh well, my opponent Boarding wants to drag this out. That's fine by me, this is already a win. Because I'm gonna get more additional points here. Hell, I could have been launching bombers to be fair. You have seized a strategic area. Repositioning. We stand ready. This is over. I am listening. Not really much else to say, so what do I like about this? Well, if I'm good about Close watching for those torpedoes, it's only really the battle barge that's vulnerable. In most circumstances. Especially since we didn't even have to deal with short burn torpedoes, mind listening. you. Hold course. And I could just board that right away, maybe. Underway. A little ridiculous, but... It'll do what's necessary. Completely kill off the crew of that thing. Try as you might. And if anything, you're making my job easy with the, the reduced speed on your ship. I'm just... Oh, you turned off cold arms, didn't you? That's the only reason I could think of. Never mind. I'm just wondering why I couldn't reveal the dang thing. When it was clearly in my sense of range and was using the cold arm stance. Where shall we strike? Since it's supposed to turn off your salt running. 
Oh well, this is game. That was fun, I enjoyed that. Just didn't have the armor pierced ammo to really be terrifying. And even then, I thankfully got a good amount of critical hits on their weaponry to at least help mitigate that nonetheless, regardless. But that's what, have, what that's what a real test would have been, mind you. Just see if I could have done that again with boarding tour, or at least against the armor piercing ammo. Now, I just don't know what other faction I'm really feeling itch on, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna focus more on pure navy and space marines for now, and maybe a little bit more on orcs for two v two. Now let me just try two v two again, since we kind of were robbed. I'll be honest, that was. We were robbed on that and I got the wrong faction. Oh, I hit the wrong button again, silly me. Let's showcase, at least, Siri craft the boarding potential. Although again, mind you, I probably do not have the fighter bays on any of these ships, so... It may not be what the final iteration if I'm really going to focus on boarding damage. But on the plus side, then at least, if I spend more time with Space Marines, I can at least get a feel for it, since technically, the boring damage is pretty much the same outside the critical hit chance. And the likeliness of killing additional crew, mind you. So maybe I should play a little bit more with Space Marines if we don't get a 2v2 quickly. Otherwise, I think that's my plan. I'm not really feeling the itch on any other factions, maybe Drukari. Don't know how I feel about the assault module or the impaler fleet, mind you, because again, it's it really evolves around just three battleships yet again, which doesn't really excite me. I don't really have much interest in nothing but battleships. But it looks like we're not gonna get a match, so let's dive into 1v1 then. Back to the Lance Fleet, a little more playtesting experimentation with it. And I almost forgot what my upgrades were, mind you. Which still, the assassin could be useful if ramming is not in my future. Or even if I don't need the short burn torpedoes against maybe Necron. And possibly orcs. But we got a match quickly. So nonetheless, let's see what we get. What do we have? Do we get Chukari? Do we get Space Marines? Mirror match? Eldari we haven't fought in a while. Oh, Gravy Beard again. Well, we kind of know what kind of fleet to expect, if nothing else. It's just a question, can I do the damage necessary with my lances before they get in close? Since I technically still have the same torpedo and ramming damage they do. Hell. It's possible, looking at the upgrades of Gravy Beard, is I might just win just with the power rams, mind you. Just the extra ramming damage on my armor gets this is going to be amazing. Especially if I ram the size, mind you. Otherwise, how aggressive I want to be? Actually, I kind of am okay with my apocalypse just capping these two points on the right. It should have the range to contribute. It should have the range to do its role uninterrupted. Armageddon's, I need to be mindful for. Since they're likely going to take the brunt of torpedoes early on. Which I'm kind of okay with. Since these are kind of weird. They're lance-centric. Yet with the upgrades I have, since I don't really have much in lance upgrades, they're really damn vicious and close too. It's really weird. To think that... You want to keep them at maximum range, but at the same time, when you do and get in close, you are very f intimidating. We if you serve. are good with those torpedoes and ramming. Otherwise, I could boost, but that's not what Ship I want to do. I want to try and soften them up as much as I can. It does beg the question, though. Do I prioritize the engines or not? Since I'm pretty certain it's the same fleet as before. Battleship and four tyrants. Area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. And I think with the Novocans, I wait until the shields go down. Your orders? I realistically though, when the engines go down, which is probably why I should focus on said engines. 
And here's the beacon. I don't... Well, actually, the apocalypse is going to be perfectly safe, so we'll just get closer to the engagement. And I do have Mike Warp Jump if, for some reason, my opponent decides to jump it. We wait your command. So if anything, that ship should have no risk of getting destroyed. Or at least murdered horribly, not without support at least. Aye, Admiral. And let's say somehow get ridiculously lucky on a critical hit on the generator. Your orders? Oh, damn it. I I just saw the combustion Aye, gauge Admiral. and kinda of panicked on the reveal. But they're all visible. We serve. That was a bit of a mistake, but again, I kind of want to be at range. Ship ready. I have enough Burn lances retros. to justify it. It just gives my opponent time Underway. to prioritize my components is what it does. Burn retros. Which is something that can be tricky to do in the Your heat of the moment. And I like to we wait spot and shoot that. So the big question, how close am I hitting with the apocalypse? I have lock on. Um, I don't think my lock on is working as intended. Did we find another bug? I'm gonna have to look at that, see if my lances are firing. That is a huge, that is a big problem. My lances aren't benefiting from the range increase. Aye, Admiral. That makes the apocalypse completely pointless. If I were to be so honest. Setting course. You have Just because it relies so much on the extra range, and now it's kind of bugged. We serve. Hmm. This is gonna suck. I didn't notice that before, but. Ready. Execute high energy turn. We got the reveal. Let's prioritize Your the orders? engines. And I didn't want to boost, Gross but. Engage. Oh well, I got enough point defense to deal with that. Can I at least hit the engines? Oh, I got a temporary hit, so that's good. It's probably out of range now, though. Aye, Admiral. Yeah, just turrets are hitting at this point. We serve. Engaging engines. So, Apocalypse, Armageddon's can go over there. I can Mike Warp Jump in a moment if my opponent decides to try and jump this. Command. But again, I see a bit of a problem here. Just with what we learned. The enemy has seized a this strategic uh, apocalypse area. is kind of useless now. We serve. And I don't feel good about Understood. that. I'm kind of relying on that to kind of do damage for me after all. And they're all... Yeah, there's, they only have one set of lances, mind you, so... Burn retros. I want to wait until engines go down, if possible. Your orders? And they are trying to shoot this uh, frigate Course down, which I do not like one bit. Nope, engines are not going down at all, so... I have Mike Warp Jump, I'm not too worried. Yeah, and your stasis bomb's kind of helping me, I'm afraid to say. Can I get the Nova Can to hit before the shield, so... Your orders? So that hit hard and the engines are permanently gone. We oh. wait your command. I think we got... I wasn't paying attention, but were those lances shooting again? I want to watch for that. Oh my god, okay, so it's just a visual glitch. I am thankful for that. Good god, that would have been... Ah. Well, that's a shame. Very anticlimactic, but at least it was a good test to see if that bug was actually as punishing as it could have been. Nope, not really the case. It's just a visual glitch, which makes it really damn. It, it makes it really difficult to know if I'm in range with said apocalypse, though. So that's the only annoying factor. But I am relieved. I love the apocalypse to death, mind you. I don't know why exactly, but I love this ship and I'm happy that I'm having good luck with this Lance Fleet so far. Mind you, I only played, what, a grand total of five, maybe six matches with this fleet? So maybe I'm just being lucky. Now, 
I'm going to try again with the orcs. I want to play around with the orcs and theory craft this. Worst case, maybe I'll do a 1v1. Since I'm only going to have t tomorrow, really, to practice and fine-tune it some before I get around to working on a YouTube video for it. I just would have loved to leave you in suspense, mind you. Just that little tease, since I kind of already emphasized I was going to experiment with it anyway. Oh well, I gave it enough chances, let's go to 1v1 I guess. Like I said, I want to experiment with this some, and I do have actual fighters for my 1v1. Although, the only fighters I have are in my bashes, mind you. To provide a little bit of torpedo support and maybe distract fighters a bit. But mainly to help deal with torpedoes if I'm good about it. Otherwise I'll stick with the shocking saps. Stasis bombs, I seriously would like that to be useful, but... Tractor can probably is better. A little bit easier to use. Oh, and I was... Oh, it's not the tractor can, I was using the shock attack gun, that's what it was. I might switch to that. Although if the shock attack gun doesn't actually do... Have a chance to do critical hits, maybe it's not worth it. Do you... Since I'm trying to rely on 40% critical hit chance with the wog and the goth buff here. If I can time it out properly, that is. And if shock attack does not give me that 40% critical hit, it's probably not worth it. Unless I'm really expecting to kill him off by the crew, which might be the case against Mechanicus, Corsairs possibly, especially Corsairs. Oh. Well, this is going to be silly. This is just going to be silly. Especially if I'm dealing with Mega Cans, but considering we're fighting Goths, that might not be the case. I just can't get a proper playtest, it feels like, with the sporting fleet on the stream, do I? It feels like that. Since I don't know what to really expect, what could I honestly test? Just how quickly. So I guess Harps here has been experiencing some of the crashes and issues. Although it isn't crashing the game, it just crashed the server from before. And it looks like we're going to want to go straight through the middle. Actually, do I want my bashes in the back? Ideally, I'd like to have the battle cruisers in back, if I were to be honest. Although, I don't think I have to worry about them kiting me. What am I really worried about? I was experimenting with Scavenge It Fast, I don't know if it's worth it, mind you. Wog Song's probably more practical. Just for the immunity if I use it properly. Where's my battle cruiser? There you are. Now let's get these grouped up. Although. It's a little inconvenient unless I rotate the camera, mind you. So I got a plan ahead, a plan for this properly, I guess, for the YouTube video, or just to speed things along. Otherwise, lock on, lock on. Oh, you're not even in group one, mind you. I think we're good. I'll just have one brute over on the far right. I don't know what I want the brutes to do in this type of mirror match anyway, since we're likely going to be facing off against more brutes. If I were to be so honest. We won. Okay, we get to see everything. What do I want to focus on, though? Engines seem pointless. I think I want to destroy deck. Since it helps with the morale, which in turn helps me deal with their troops. If I'm going to try actually boarding. I don't know what I want to prioritize, though. And they are Mega Cans. That's a bit of a problem, too. What is their upgrade? Scavenge it fast and lost the thrusters. Okay. So it looks promising, potentially. And a bunch of brutes. So I can grab ejectors. You got it. I do. Uh, I have a tractor can. Damn it. I should have switched that to shock attack. Damn it. That would have been useful for just hanging back and waiting until they get close. I could have potentially got two. 
uh, shock attacks on this thing with a reload, maybe. I do have the critical hit, and they don't have the goth upgrade, mind you, so at least I got that working for me. The only thing I don't like is the gambling, that I can destroy enough of their decks to cripple their morale, let alone help it using it to help me kill the crew, since I don't think I'm likely going to kill this for the massive morale penalty that is incurred for a flagship destruction. But I have saps. The enemy has seized a strategic area. I just, what's the biggest threat? Are these all cruisers? The battleship, without a doubt, if I can focus it down. Yeah. And ideally, if I can ram these on the side, that'd be the base, best case situation. So, since this is gonna get a little weird, since I, they have. They have six brutes. I have six brutes, but I have like three of them over here, and that's pretty much it. Can I ram the side? Give me. That's one. So far, we're winning the brute game. So far. Although trying to destroy the flagship when it's behind everything is not a good strategy. Can I hit two more brutes? Two, uh, three. Perfect ratio so far. The fight is over here. Yeah. Although that win that counts for little so far, because I would like to board. The enemy has seized a strategic and, area. Uh, let me just try boost on through. As if I can boost... Oh, yeah, I'm taking so much damage right now due to Mega Cans. This is probably not going to work well. But turn me around. Get the flagship to safety, mind you. Oh, you burnt all your boosters too, that's not helpful. Is this thing's likely gonna die? Well, they're being convenient for me. There isn't least that. I do have the walk song, so I saved that for the last possible second. And what can still board? Pretty much everything, and I... And most of my weapons are destroyed too, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, this is not going to go well. Because that boost landed them perfectly where I am. Yeah, and trying to fight this thing is even pointless because the deck is actually destroyed. Again, a bit of the problem here. At least trying to rely on doing morale damage. I'm just going to lose amazingly to the Mega Cannons. So definitely trying to jump at them. I, w I wonder how could I do that better. Well, Dumbfire Torpedoes probably was the smart choice. Since again, we didn't even kill off the crew of that one flagship. It's going to be a little bit tricky to do. Especially with all the critical hits I had on my prow, mind you. We are actually... We actually did destroy a handful of their decks, surprisingly. Definitely not a good test, and I definitely probably played that poorly. But even then, the Dumbfire Torpedoes probably would not have been enough, either way. This, this, we successfully did deal with the battleship really damn quickly, mind you. But again, Unless I kill it, that's kind of pointless because it still does not penalize the morale. It does not hurt the morale at all. That's the issue I'm having, at least with how that match with how that match played out. And I'm not quite equipped to deal with Mega Cans up front either. It goes without saying. 
I probably should just lob torpedoes at maximum range and just see what sticks, mind you, since again, I had six charges. I could afford to done that like as Imperial Navy mostly. I had that convenience. It actually would have helped with the rate of fire too if I did that properly. Worst faction? Hmm. I honestly don't know about worst faction, but as far as best faction, I think the Ashuriani with the dang, with the extra charge of the torpedoes can be very terrifying. Never, although it is very singular, there's, om there's no reason to use the light cruisers at all since they only fire four torpedoes with that route. And they only have a single charge, whereas the cruisers with their eight torpedoes have two charges. They are potentially terrifying, especially with any faction that's poor on mobility. I don't know about worse faction. Necrons have really hard counters against Adeptus Mechanicus and probably the Ashuriani for that reason alone. Unless you go ridiculous on the Star Pulse Generator, you could probably do okay against the Ashuriani. Adeptus Mechanicus, you can't really deal with the Novacans, but that's basically per matchup. And I really like the potential orcs. They're really short range dependent, so they're probably the most fragile. As far as a good matchup, maybe. Whereas Tyranids, they at least have their constant shrouds, so you can always be sneaky with them. Which is part of the reason why I like the Blood Axes. You can catch the opponent off guard, but I haven't played with a full dedicated shroud fleet enough to really understand the nuances outside of light cruisers with my shroud fleets, which is really easy for them to just disengage with inertialist drive, mind you. Orcs don't have that convenience, and Tyranids don't really either unless you commit to double rushing. And to be honest, I'm kind of feeling the itch now to play some Tyranids. Big question. Do we go with Tentacle Devourers or Pyracid? Hmm. I'll leave that for you to to tell me for next match, but I wasn't happy with that one match because it kind of is arguably a bit of a mismatch, just a little bit. Never mind the fact that I have no idea what I was doing. I probably should have stayed long range with shock attack doing really good boarding damage as well. At such a distance, I would have been okay for a while. Potentially. It's just impossible to know what my opponent's actually going. So I can't pick the specific upgrades to at least get the most potential. Nonetheless though, I'm going to give this one more try since we've been robbed so many times with the 2v2. And I do need to try and refine a little bit. Realistically though, if I want to go all was it all in with the boarding, I should try and have the fighter bays, or at least on half my cruisers. It also will be really damn good for tor dealing with torpedoes as well. If if I use them defensively, at least that will help with the one problem I'm going to have, which is actually doing damage. Since I'm not really crippling their fleets until they're actually drifting hulks. Or at least in the final critical stage. And then every time I derelict the hulk again, or derelict the ship, not so many critical hits they're suffering, even with them repopulating it over and over again. So I can very easily just neuter a ship once I get to that point, but the trick is getting there. Since I only get one critical hit for getting ha was it the second stage, there's the possibility of getting a bunch of critical hits with all my boarding with a good wall cry. And then it's the two additional critical hits when I get to the final stage. But a lot of that is luck outside the the troop stages itself, those are guaranteed, which is kind of what I want to gamble on a bit. I just got to be good about getting the most out of my boarding and trying to not do be so ridiculous on a single ship that they use their call to arms. Unless I force a call to arms on all their ships, or at least half of them, then I can benefit nicely from the double rate of fire and the slower speed. But on a single ship, they can negate my boarding quite heavily, since it is... Yeah, since I don't have the convenience of the 60% chance to do a critical troop kill with like with Space Marines, they are basically doing reducing the troop damage in half. 
while it's active. No, this is going to continue to get silly. I don't know. Hmm. And this, this is looking like commandos, possibly. Possibly. Although, I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to stay more longer range since, again, the orcs are really bad at mobility. So maybe playing longer range torpedo game to kind of soften them up might be good. This is not the practice I would like since I don't think we're going to be getting very many mirror matches. So I'm not learning the right, the right lessons, I want to argue. But I guess if they do have commandos, this will be a taste of my own medicine, won't it now? And I do actually have fighters to help provide vision a little bit with these two light cruisers, so there is a possibility to spot them. Now, where are my battle cruisers? I'm okay, battle cruiser there. Let's just isolate. Let's separate these ships so that way I can group them properly. Group one, group two, we're good. And I want to deploy on the right, unless I want to forfeit the objectives, or left rather. They're right, not mine. And then otherwise, the brutes can spot for me really damn well. I don't know. Mind you, I haven't really played against any other orcs up to this point. It's only when I want to play orcs that I get orc matchups. We're being robbed on so many different levels, with the crashes, the people conceding, and now this, at least as far as proper practice and experimentation. Shock attack has really good range, so... I just don't think I want the art, the art boys, because I don't think it's going to play it that way, but the slow might be useful. Might be. I only have three lances, but if I stagger it properly, that's six seconds slow on a single ship. Which might help some. And they are commandos. Okay. So I'm just gonna spread my frigates out and play a bit of a slow game. I'm gonna use my frigates as kind of like a sensor net. And the further away I spot them, the better for my longer range saps. And I do have fighters as well. Speaking of which, I should watch for potential fighters of theirs. The enemy has seized a strategic area. So that captured incredibly you fast. Oh. A strategic area. Oh my. An opponent gave me the... Let, was a, kind enough to let me know that I saw their flagship. So I might as well do it for my opponent here. But I should stop looking, but that doesn't help. I should stop looking. Just to at least have a the little bit of... Uh, a strategic area. At least be able to do this properly. Just explain that does not teach me crap. It does give... Well, we could have told... We could have known that was the flagship anyway, just by how quickly that point was capturing, mind you. So at least we could have sensed that. It's just if I continue looking to see where it's heading is. Do I want to spread it at all? Well, if I want to maximize my torpedoes, I shouldn't have had my fleets deployed the way they were, mind you. Don't tell anyone, Madoke. Don't tell anyone about what just happened. This is a secret between you and me and the other viewers that are watching right now. What do you want? So apparently I got hit by something. Or was that the asteroid belt? Well, you're not doing a good job. You got it, boss. You're trying to hide your ships, but you're kind of revealing them. Yeah. Okay, we have a good sense of where to go. At least for most of the ships. I am just because of the saps, mind you. We are going to be loose. Actually, let's just reveal them. This will help a lot. I just got to do my tor torpedo damage. 
Which, again, I kind of deployed poorly, didn't I? Oh, and there are also torpedoes. So I need my fighters back to help deal with those. And I only got three saps versus the bunch they have, mind you. But I have shock attacks. What do I want to prioritize? Since they have almost the exact same load as me, mind you. So I don't know what I really want to focus on. And the wreckage- oh my god, there was actual random wreckage there making it no- making this no, not work for me either. Random wreckage just got soaked a lot of my torpedoes. But I have fighters, I might as well use them. Now I just gotta wait till they actually clear said wreckage for this to matter though. Now yeah, let's me actually focus my fire some. I have fighters. I have brace for impact. And I'm facing my proud to him, which should help some. Now, I have the walks cry, so I might as well fire boring torpedoes to maximize my critical hits. Although most of them are just getting shot down, alas. And two battleships, and what do they have? They have torpedoes as well. I think I go after flag the battleship and flagship. If I were to be so honest. Although you're kind of going the wrong way, I'm afraid. One of our one of our boys is going AWOL. I don't like it one bit. Now turn around, I don't have any boarding last. We still got like 30 seconds before we worry about that. Our boys are AWOL, but they're still alive. They're still in the fight, surprisingly. Now turn and give us some boring damage. Uh, I have cool they're on cooldowns, but I am getting torpedo hits at least. I have the war cry and the walk song, right? This probably is not gonna help me very much though. Because they're really bad positioning. And engines are currently down on my battleship, so I can't really do a whole lot for chasing this about the flagship down for morale. I would like to chase that thing down, but I don't think I'm gonna get to. This mine's getting murdered horribly. Due to the war cry. Here's Ska. Let's see. What else can we do here? Since this is really awkward, I thought I could be sneaky and boost in there and jump their flagship. It could still pay off if I can kill the flagship. Because I do have a couple of battle boosts there. Kind of late now, sadly. That's dead. My flagship's also gone, is it? Apparently I'm just bad at the Orc Mirror match, since we technically had the same loadouts and... I lost horribly. But then again, letting my rear be vulnerable probably cost me a bit. There's some morale damage, but it's too little too late, alas. And it wasn't even that significant 
morale damn cheater. Yeah, if only I could turn these things around quicker for some more torpedoes. Because the crew's almost gone there. I would like it to me. I would like it to mute me, ideally. Oh, well, I guess I was robbed. And apparently I'm really bad at the Orc Mirror match for some reason. Ultimately, it probably came down to thinking I could dive bomb the battleships that were way in the back. Maybe it could have been useful if my ships actually succeed in holding them still. Since they don't have anything to increase their turning speed, mind you. And I don't think Tracked Cam would be all that useful in that matchup. So you think everything should have gone my way? You would think, anyway, they didn't even have the Wog Song either to kind of deal with the heavy morale damage. Of course, it's... Hard to really gauge how effective that is, nonetheless. Now, with Sick and Tyrannus, no one wanted to... Yeah, the slow speed is why I don't like the torpedoes in general. At least with the orcs, because you don't have that convenience. But, there was no suggestions for... What kind of Tyrannus Fleer should play, so... I'll just pick the, bi the Pyre Acid, see if I can have better luck. Especially if all these orcs we're dealing with, mind you. Now, I'm just drool. Well, we'll see what the second upgrade is, but I learned Synaptic Relay might be pretty damn important. Since my second hive ship doesn't really count as another Synapse ship. So I'll have to be open open minded about that. Ooh, we already got an opponent, which probably means it's another orc, isn't it? Yeah. I'm if I can get good torpedo shots at long range, and maybe get multiple shots of a shock attack, maybe I can cripple them to at least have a bit of an advantage. Never mind the fact that if I can flank them, maybe my big problem is having my fleet grouped together like that. Which is good for the point defense if I'm worried about uh, torpedoes and all that. As well as fighters, that would still be useful, because even then, that's a lot of point defense, even if they are orcs. But maybe that was a bad case, or a bad occasion. But I can light the orcs on fire, we know what they're feeling, and I have rushed to conveniently deal with dodging the torpedoes. Now, let's give us our let's give ourselves a real match, I suppose. Okay, what are we waiting for? Well, I guess where I want to go for objectives is pretty straightforward. We got so many over on the left here. Nonetheless, if I can get those fire assaults early, especially with the additional range of the hive ships, I should be okay. Trackers are going to be a bit awkward. I just got to be mindful of if I'm in range of the tracked can. That's the only thing. I should not rush until after a tracked can if I'm within range, which I can't remember. It's twelve thousand. It's thirteen thousand five hundred, I think, or twelve thousand. Do I care all about the Chimionic skin? I didn't even- I don't even think I've seen a single frigate. So I think having both my hive ships there give a synapse links. Well, the wording is really weird. It says battle cruisers get synapse control, but it says it applies to hive ships. I don't know what to believe with this damn ability, so I'm hoping it's not screwing me over. I'm really hoping, but additional critical hit chance and additional fires is going to be amazing. If I do it properly. I gotta wait for him to make the first move, though. Oh yeah, and I have Stimpy in this fleet somewhere, don't I? I gotta keep that in mind. And I do have a bit of fighters to help deal with torpedoes. 
But we know they have saps. If I reveal myself, then I can see where their entire fleet is without poking forward too much. I just gotta use... Send one of my Krakas out as sacrifice. Which sadly might be Stimpy. My little massive claw uh, Kraken here. But at least we'll get a sense of where they're at and we can deploy appropriately. Also, like I said before, I could kind of... Well... There is again. But okay, you kind of guessed it. I'm hacking right now, apparently, and seeing where the flagship is. Doesn't do him much favors there, because at least in this case, I can punch this well. I just gotta get a sense of where they're at. It'd not be so sprout that my ships can't support each other. Since I don't have chameleonic skin after all, so my Kraken should not go too far forward. You have seized a strategic area. Thankfully, I do have a gas cloud to help. The enemy has seized a strategic area. I know kind of what the loadout is, and I can almost abuse where the cannon is, or the flagship is at all times, if I so wished. And I kind of want spore fields too to kind of conceal my ships. I gotta remember to drop those things. At least I can use them to fall back on. Conceal my ships when it gets a little bit awkward. And maybe ha realistically have like a line of them so that way it slows down the ships for when I try and run away too. Once I get the three objectives, the ball's in their court, basically. Okay. I am gonna probably lose this to the lances, mind you. Especially with fire assaults, but... Nothing was really revealed, alas. So, if I could just get this concealed somehow, that might be good. Yeah, no, Stimpy's gonna burn to death. You have seized a strategic area. Now, I kind of want to destroy... Well... I think I want to destroy weapons. No, Stimpy almost made it too. Poor Stimpy. Now we see everything. Oh my god. Well, this is working out well for me, isn't it? I'm not going to get the objective, but at least I could start shooting. Yes, keep boosting forward. And we do see a frigate of some kind. I should have launched fighters and then the assault ships, mind you. That probably would have been a bit more beneficial. Ooh, we're actually doing a good amount of critical hits on this one ship so far, too. Can we do the other damage necessary? Oh, actually, my Krakas could just melt the frigates. Since they pretty much already are, if I were to be honest. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Now, as much as I love to drool on them, they could just immediately just de cancel out that effect, too. So, gotta be mindful of that. Until they repair, at least, then I can sort of guarantee it. I so very much want to melt that thing. Ooh. Sorry, I just vomited a bit. Get this moving. Hide that. 
Although I'm gonna get it's gonna get revealed in a moment. I have fighters. Sadly, I'm a little bit slow on the rush, but I have fighters to help some. And then I fly into more torpedoes. Way to go, me. How are these crackers doing? Well, I'm losing them. They, they're better off just staying behind the battleships and being a, a nuisance. I think that's what I want to do. And otherwise, let's kill the ones that are already crippled here. Ideally. I'm going to take some torpedoes, but they are kind of erratic and spread out too. And my fires are not in a good position anyway. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. Just keep it running. Keep it running and make sure these things are doing what they're supposed to. Because I'm doing a bad job controlling them, I think. I have my fighters, but they may not be enough. Oh, I still have my shields, to be honest, so I'm, ge I'm getting good use here for now. I just wish I had Foy Lurker. I'm about to get my Devil Rush, though. I'm going to Devil Rush my ass out of here when I get a chance. And dang, dang it, my Krakens are doing a bad job here. I'm miscontrolling to some. Of strategic points. But I can jump out. Give me some more breathing room. And I still have more charges in my acid and I'm slowly starting to melt them. Slowly. Again, I'm miscontrolling this a little bit poorly. And the battleship. Yeah, the hive ship should be able to grab this quickly. Be ready for torpedoes and a boost. Since that's probably what's about to happen here. You have seized a strategic area. Now get this turned around, that would be pretty good. If only I rem had been doing good use of my spore fields, that can actually be pretty good. Since I have three of them here to slow them down for when they for this kind of occasion. Just gotta rem remember to double rush. My cruiser sadly is gone. The battleship's being annoying. Can I get hit in though? I want to hide. You're not letting me hide, you cursed things. But it will slow them down some. I just gotta stop burning retros, alas. It's good start though, but it's starting to fall apart now. Since I can't have not doing a good job punishing them. The enemy has seized a strategic area. It's only guns, mind you, so maybe it's not terrible yet. Okay, fighters, do your worst. Mutinies, it's starting to fall apart on them now. Starting to. I just gotta do a better job prioritizing. Krakens get to safety, although you're gonna ram each other. That's not what I want. And Dex has gone on that, so you need a rally. Now vomit some more for good measure. And see about turning these around. Yeah, I'm just having to burn retros, kind of when I don't need it. I keep burning retros a lot. On ships I don't need burning retros. It helps if I group these two separately. That might be part of my problem there. 
So you're all sorts of screwed right now. Mutiny. I'm still waiting for the rally, but I think it's because it's on cooldown because of fire assaults. And you are all sorts of dead. All that's left is to get this in the fray. I should have done adrenal glands immediately, but it's shooting. It's getting its shots off. It's helpful. It's helping. And it just repaired. I just gotta get my high ship on this objective now to at least start waiting via the objective in case somehow this drags out. Okay, I challenge you to chase me. The spore fields are starting to build up now. You have Mind you, they are only supposed to last two minutes, so I don't think that's ideal or intended. But I'm gonna benefit off it either way. Now, keep hitting the flagship. I would like to board that, but... Alright. The value of rush. Just convenient, easy way even for a battleship to get out of combat. Or dodge torpedoes anyway. Now, can I board this? Well, we got a flagship. Which conveniently is going to get burped on. Uh, I immediately repaired, so... At least it's not it's not gonna use its rally for this one battleship, so I can count I could be thankful there. And the shields are really damn potent. And now we can try and congeal these together. Fire assaults are gonna be the bane of these orcs life. Yes, more mutinies, and this time. I know you burnt the repair a few moments ago, so that's not rallying anytime soon. Although I might lose a hive ship, with that said. Oh, this looks amazing! Aw, uh, I didn't hit the battleship. But since it's not- it's kind of broken right now, I guess I'm okay with it. Alright, I want to eat them. Do I want to ram it? It's going to hurt me more than I hurt them, I think. I'm going to do it anyway, just because it feels good. This fight is important. No! I won't let you have it. Although, I'm still at risk of losing, so let's grab these dang objectives finally, just in case. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that ability. It's a matter of knowing when their value is no longer spent. Like, st my Stimpy with the Massive Claws, I could have easily done that there. But at the same time, Stimpy almost made it to the Gas Cloud, or Spore Cloud, to hide itself. So, it's something I really need to keep in mind. I keep forgetting about it, to be fair. But, at the same time, it's hard to gauge when their value is no longer... They have no more value in actually doing damage, especially in a case like that. But I could create additional spork fields. That would have been really damn helpful. Again, it's a question of are these supposed to last for two minutes or not? Or is this just a typo? Because that is really damn important for any Tyranid fleet, especially for my hive ships to kind of hide themselves. It was kind of invaluable there, I want to argue. And since I didn't lose either of my hive ships, it's impossible to know if the synaptic relay even works or not for my hive ships. But nonetheless, what a way to end off there. I enjoyed that match. That was fun. I'm ready to call it a night, I think. We just about hit the two hour mark. A little bit hit or, a little bit hit or miss there, mind you, with the dang servers going down and my attempts of 2v2 being foiled on every front. But it was a good time nonetheless. I really do like the potential of the Lance Fleet. Mind you again, I have not played against Eldari to see how badly this gets screwed over. The Novacans potentially can be amazing though. At least doing a good amount of damage once they Wraith Bone shift or jump out. It's a question if I have the follow up damage to kind of take advantage of it mind you. 
But otherwise, thank you everyone for watching. It was a good time. I'm happy that I'm able to keep this on a regular basis, but I really do want to feel get around to doing a second stream on the weekends too. So fingers crossed for that sometime.